Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here. Welcome back to another episode of Vessel. We're heading off to our next area now, because we've finished with our orchard. We're heading in to this third region. So, uh, let's see what we got here. Extreme environments. It seems even the most forbidding environments are not immune to the adaptability of fluoros. I've received reports that a mine facility has been shut down due to fluoro malfunction. While no longer a surprise, the reports are nonetheless striking. Fluoros diverging into multiple species, transforming their environment, and working symbiotically to create havoc. It's on me to fix this problem. It's on me to get you there first. So what can we do here? We got a small nozzle that sprays into a bigger nozzle. Let's spray some blue up there. That's good, but this looks like one of those things you normally need to explode. I don't have the power of red. Unless I can make it red in my base. Hmm. Let's make a red chaser in the base. Let's see if that'll do it. Red is this button? Or just blue? That's blue. Okie dokie, so let's see here. We're gonna need... Chaser Eye. Lots of red. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Come on. No, you silly red blob. Chase me. All right. You are so slow. I hope I'm doing this right. I think what we're going to have to do is get the red blob to die on that exit tunnel and blast the blue up through the pipe. And that should do it, hopefully. Come on. Come on, little strider. Because as far as I can tell, the only way I can get red is in these fluoros. Because I don't have enough... I don't have control over the red goo on its own. Hmm... I got to get you to come in here, and then I can throw it up there. Come on. Come on. Click! I think we got it. I heard the click. I'm just staying away from those deadly explosions. Puny, but deadly. We got it. Aw, yeah. Mines, here we come. Mines it is, yeah. Nothing over that way. Okie dokie, here we go. Into the mines. Mines of Moria. Well, you know what? There's an achievement for not taking the elevator. So I'm not going to take the elevator. We'll see how murderous it is. Oh, God. That was pretty murderous? Okay. <laughs> That was, uh, more, not what I expected. Not at all what I expected, no. Let's see if I can stick over to the right side and survive here. Oh god, oh god! Oh god. <sighs> oh no, those are deadly spikes. You know what, maybe I will come back and do this after we finish the game. <laughs> because this looks a lot more difficult than I was anticipating. Let's just take the happy little elevator down. And we'll come back and, and try this again once we've already finished the main puzzle. Yeesh. Stop. And what's in here? Come back, little fluoro. I got some blue for ya. See? You can come out. I got some tasty juice for ya. Not coming out. Whee! You have put the light out. Is that what you want? No, I can't put the light out. This is weird, though. Okay, I don't know what this is all about. It's hiding from me down here. Do 
do do. We need some elevator music. Do 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 do. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm not dead. No, I don't want to be down here yet. No, I didn't get to look at anything. Okay, well, energy extraction. When these mines were overrun with fluoros, all the glow goo extraction pumps were stopped. I'll need to fix the pumps in order to reach the control center and housing of a giant excavation machine. The control center has been the most affected, with fluoros infesting and transforming it. It appears fluoros are not only adapting themselves to their environment, but adapting the environment to themselves. Fascinating. Can I jump back up to the top? Looks like I can. Sorry to have to do this to you folks, but I really don't want to miss the entire descent just because I fell off the damn elevator. Here we go. Yes, I am just making up random crappy music while we go down the elevator. But hey, what else am I here for? These spikes are pretty dangerous, and if we have to avoid them on the way back down, it's going to be quite a bit more difficult than I anticipated. Maybe the uh, presence of the elevator helps turn on the lights or something? Okay, stop. Now we come over here. we got a locked door here. Hmm. I wonder how I would be supposed to get through there. I'm not entirely sure. Why it's locked, even, either. That's the, that's the weird thing. Here's our glow goo. Is glow goo dangerous? I'll actually keep coming down so I can easily get back on the elevator. Can I absorb it? No. It does glow, though. Can I put an eye in it? Oh. <laughs> you rolled all the way into the tunnel. Okay. Interesting. Hey, a button. Oh. A button that stops. Well, I can put water here. Then you'll stay there. Come on. You're, you're right beside the... You stupid. You stupid little bob. Do you really have no desire to stand on that, even though it has a light beside it? There we go. Okay. Now, I bet you that's that door that was up above. Let's come back up and take a look. Could be wrong, of course, but... I suspect that's what it was. Click! And here we go. It is open, but it's also pitch black in here. Hmm. Oh! Protoplasm! Ta-da! That's a suitable reward for my effort, I think. A suitable reward, indeed. Makes it worthwhile I didn't skip it, eh? <laughs> Sorry for the delay, but... We got some protoplasm out of it. I got the feeling there must have been something up there, otherwise I wouldn't have made this entry passage so long. And it looks like, actually, it'll be quite easy to come down here with an elevator. All we'll have to do is miss those first spikes. Now if we can land on a lamp like we did last time, it should be a fairly easy jump down the rest of the way. So, we'll come back and do that later. Here we go, we got some green goop. Glowy green goop. And it looks like we got deadly spikes down below too, so we gotta watch out for those. <laughs> Can I make a guy out of this green goop? It looks like it. Yeah, it makes. I just don't have enough of it. Okay. Maybe one day we'll get a tool that'll let us control the green goop, too. What are these things? Goop pipes. Oh, they're goop lamps. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, knocked all the goop out of that one. Oh, I'm replacing the goop with water. Probably shouldn't do that. Probably shouldn't do that. What's this? Here we have a goop nozzle. A 
<laughs> okay, let's try making some goop monsters. It's not working very well. Come on, goop fluoro. Blah. That didn't work at all. Let's try a different kind of fluoro. Let's try a chaser fluoro. Because that way, we'll want to go somewhere. Why am I stuck? Got plenty of goop on me. Should be plenty of goop. No, this is not working. Am I literally just supposed to cover myself in goop and run? Because I can do that if that's what I'm supposed to do, but I don't think that's the right thing. I can't absorb it. I can't make anything out of it right now. Is that not enough? Yeah, that is enough. Oh. That worked pretty well. I can see. Oh! Didn't realize those were spikes. I can see! I just wasn't paying attention. <laughs> okay, so, beware. Spikes. Deadly spikes. Let's put two of these suckers. Right there. Man. Why won't you work? Come on. Alright, this is an absolute pile of gunk. It's not doing anything. I'll just pile it up on me again, jump it over to the side here, then let it form up. This seems to be the design I've had the most success with so far. There we go. Down we go, up up on here, up up on there, up up on here. And we're through. So far I'm not liking this goop. It's interesting, I just can't do anything with it very easily. <sighs> we got a light down there. And a switch over there. Hmm. Chaser was not the design I had in mind, but it may do. I can get them to chase me all the way around. May run right up and push the button for me. Beep, push it, push it. No, not happening. So let's try again with a control node, and we can follow the control node through the puzzle as it rushes to get to that lit button. I do know we go down first. Come on. Uh oh, uh oh. Don't leave me behind. But, oh my goodness. Now there's a pile of goop here and I can't get enough movement to push the button. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> that was silly. <gasps> That's a goop canister I see down there. Do want. Okay, so I guess I make a feeder goop down here. Oh, no, come back. Because with a feeder goop, I can turn on the other goop, and that will, or should at least, make him run to the other side. Oh, no, I forgot. They don't like having too much goop. <laughs> That's not enough. Yeah, no. Okay, let's try this again. Not making it easy for me, are you, little goops? Get off me. Get... And there you go. Should be 
plenty of goop for you and you shouldn't get washed out with new goop. There's more to suit your fancies. Click. Most important thing so far. We've got a glow goo canister. Wonderful. Whew. So now we can control glow goo, water, and blue goo. Liquid luminescence. Excellent. With this additional canister, I can now use my equipment to suction and dispense glow goo. It will be exceptionally useful in a dark environment. It will make experimenting on interactions with fluoros that much easier. Marvelous. Although I did see a ladder down there that I can climb down. So we'll be going down there to see what's up. Although not before, we have a nice healthy supply of glow goo. So I get the feeling we're going to need it. See? There it is. Ooh! Never mind. Nothing dangerous down here at all. Just a whole pile of protoplasm. Although, I haven't seen anything broken down here yet. We've already got two protoplasm. Let's see. I guess maybe we'll find up further ahead. This is... Oh man, this would be quite a maze to explore. What's up here? I do like how it sticks to surfaces, though. That makes some exploring easier. Oh, that's a hole. Drop down here. This it isn't glow goo at once. Oh, there we go. Ta-da! Anything down there that I can get? I don't think so. That looks like what I was supposed to do. Okay, well, that's a interesting little puzzle. Learning to use Go Glow Goo to solve your own problems. Hey there! You brought up a minecart. For that, you die. Whoops! Didn't mean to jump in there. I want to push this button. a boulder, and then releases. Let's get in. Whee. Whee. <laughs> this is the least eventful minecart ride I think I've ever been on. Right up until the end there, and tries to murder me. Sheesh. Spinny blades of death. Okay. Good thing the cart malfunctioned before I died. Well, let's go down here. Vessel. I, I really wish they had made more than one splash loading screen. Even if there was just one for each area or something. Something to make it look a little bit more interesting when you are staring at it all of the time. Alright though, however, before we can move on and start exploring this strange new environment, we're unfortunately going to have to leave it for another episode. Thanks for watching, this has been Vanguard of Valor with another episode of Vessel, and I'll see you all again next time. Bye!